On today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Foodie Mini Brands. So this is the latest series of Mini Brand products. Um, they are from real um, food retailers. Some of them fast foods, some of them sit-down restaurants, and some of them are frozen moments, which are kind of like um, the mini brands that are suspended in animation, like a drink being poured or food being um, eaten, like cheese is stretching, stuff like that. So you do um, get the surprises in the ball, but what I like about these, they're no longer in wedges. They're in individual little packages. So this one I've already started to open. I just haven't opened the packages. Um, I did get these online from um, the Target app, target.com. They were $6.99. I went to several different stores and they were not in stock yet. Um, so Target app, Target.com is the way to go. So like I said, no more of the wedges, the surprises, and it is still five of them are in individual little packages. <clears throat> so I thought that was really cool. So now we kind of get some more reusable uses out of these balls. And then these are a lot easier to kind of open. So we do have a collector's guide as we normally do. So in this series, it looks like we have drinks. what they call mains, which are like entrees. I'm gonna show you that. Drinks, and then mains. And then on this other side, we have other categories, which include snack and sides, and food court. So like your side items, and then like food court items, which would be like cash registers, dispensers, things of that nature. <clears throat> so I'm really excited. <clears throat> so let's get started. This first one is really big. Ah, it is a mustard dispenser. So basically, you have to put this together. I want to see how hard it does. Take. And it gives you the instructions. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it says, have your main container. You got to put the bottom base on. And then you're going to put the dispenser on, which is that, and then you're going to attach the handle, simple enough, and then you just apply the stickers. So that was relatively easy. Line that up as best I can and get that on. I 
Okay, that looks good. Okay, so hopefully these won't take forever to do. And if I get more like dispensers and things, maybe I'll do that off camera to save time or just kind of speed through. But this is our mustard dispenser. And I'm really excited for it. So it is a good comparable size. Just like the mega dispensers that we see in Boo Corps. So I'm excited, y'all. Okay. So that's that. Just putting all our trash right there. This is a tray of something. Ooh, Fridays. Looks like Fridays, baby back ribs and fries. And this container does close. That is really cool. Let's see. A Subway sandwich with the paper logo. That is really cool. And let's see. We have a Carl's Jr.'s Hand breaded and juicy tenders. But where is the stuff in it? It's just a box. Where? And nothing fell out. So this one doesn't have any nuggets in it. It's just a container. Now what kind of stuff is that? And then this is a <clears throat> Our Rock Cafe chocolate shake. Well, I am kind of bummed about this Carl Jr.'s nugget because, as we can see, the TGI Fridays, it has the molded on, sculpted meal inside the container. This is an even smaller container and it doesn't have anything. So I'm going to double check to see if it even is supposed to have anything. So it's so actually supposed to be a burger because I'm looking at both sides of the package. That says Juicy Tenders. There's 100% Angus beef. Well, let me see. Maybe it doesn't supposed to have it. So I looked in the collector's guide. And it just says burger takeaway. And it's cl closed. So I guess this one is not meant to have anything. But it's crazy because there is an actual um, Hardee's burger that has one. So I don't understand why the quality is different to have one in a box. Because Carl's and Hardy's, Carl's Jr. and Hardy's is the same thing. But I guess maybe it's like the, the quality, not the quality, but the, the value of the surprise. Maybe they're like, you know, you get sometimes in some balls, like the paper products or the deluxe items. Maybe this is supposed to be like a regular or something like that. I guess. <clears throat> but I mean, it's still cool for diorama purposes. I don't know what I'm about that. Another thing that I still find, these wrappers are so hard to take off. 
Cause you see, I've been taking them off and like it's taking part of the label, but not the same thing. Sometimes the plastic gets under my nails and I get paper cuts. So that is one thing, many brands that I would say, I know that we have to be secure with the balls so that they're not easily opened, but it can kind of hurt sometimes when these things get under your nails with the pull tabs. Just saying. Oh my goodness. It's almost like it's glued down. It's so, oh my goodness. Now that first one was not hard. The one that I did off camera, it was just like, chop, chop, chop. Okay. So I'm already about two minutes in. And I still have one, two, three, four, five more balls. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed through. Less talking, less complaining. We're just gonna get to it. So here we have a Subway cookie. It is attached to the paper. I think that's cool. We have a Sonic um, chili cheese coney, the foot long. That is really cool. I used to really love the Sonic um, <clears throat> conies. I really don't eat them anymore. It's been a couple years, or well, more than a year, I should say. Um, this is a Hard Rack Cafe little drink. I think that's really cool. And I'm gonna do some close-ups at the end so we can see all of this a lot better. But I love the variety. Like I said, some of them are fast food. Some of them are sit-down restaurants. So this is TGI Fridays. Wings and Ranch. This is really cool. Cool, cool, cool. And the last one in this box is Hardee's Fries. Curly Fries. Four more balls to go. So guys, what are you gonna do with your mini brands? I know that some of us are into dioramas and then some of us are just mini enthusiasts. So whichever way that you use your mini brands, let me know in the comments. I am definitely going to, um, try to crap something, you never know. Oh, now this is a really good item. So I think this is probably some type of food court machine. This is huge. What is this? This is, yay, I'm so excited. So this is the ketchup dispenser. So there's the ketchup, and there's the mustard. So cool. Let's see what this is. This is a TGI Friday's burger. That's cool. And then we have a Sonic corny dog. And his little ketchup swirl on it. I think that's really cool. So we're getting a good representation of fast food and sit down restaurants. We have some Subway soup. And then we have a White Castle um, Crave Crate. This is just a takeout box. So kind of like the other one that we talked about before, not all of them contain an actual foodie in them, and some of them are just the containers. And again, that's cool. 
Those are still gonna be great diorama pieces. So we are halfway through. We are down three balls and I am closing this five and please. So let's see. Let's see what we get out of this world. This is Sonic Tater Tots. We have a Carl's Jr. Sake Shake. We got a Subway Sandwich. Another one. Are they the same thing? They are. Doesn't matter. It's food. The dogs will eat it. <coughs> now this is a huge thing. Whoa. So this must be a machine. This is huge. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is... Should I get everything out? Oh, it's a soda machine. Okay, y'all, so I finally got the, the drink dispenser done. That stressed me out. I think because on the instructions, it doesn't tell you about this little piece that goes on the front that you put the sticker of the soda choices. So I was wondering, like, where does this piece go? So maybe it's just me, can't follow directions, but that stressed me out. But I think the size is great. And it's really, really cool. So my little table that I have is giving me the blues. It's one of my thrifted finds. So I one more thing in this ball. And it's one of the things I really wanted because I love sushi. So it's molded on inside of the container. You can't open it. It's really cool. I am so excited. So I'm down to the last two balls. And I'm so excited because I got some great items. And like I said before, I am going to do close-ups. I'm gonna group everything together into the different categories so that we can see it much clearer. But these are really cool, y'all. I see this as both being something addictive because you really get great items, but also something that you could get satisfied after you get, you know, a good handful of them because you're gonna get something that you like from something. You know, it's not one dimensional, it's so many different products. So now we have a hearty cinnamon roll. That's cool. We have another Friday's baby bag ring. A coffee from Subway. We have a White Castle slider. And what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got? We got a machine. What type of machine did we get? We got, ooh, the cash register. And you have your little cash register. I am so happy I got that. Alrighty, guys. Last ball. So excited.
for this is another White Castle slider. And this is a Sonic cheeseburger or burger. Yes, cheeseburger. And it has a little Sonic foil on it, which is really cool. We have a Sonic drink. Looks like a cola with ice. We have another Hard Red Cafe drink. And that's cool because we have a set. And now, guys, I'm down to my last item. And it doesn't feel like something I've had. It is <gasps> the last one, guys. A frozen moment. So it is a cheeseburger that has been cut in half. And you see the cheese. So this came in the same ball as the regular cheeseburger. And then this is a frozen moment. Cool. So guys, I'm thoroughly excited and happy about my finds. So I look forward now to a little slideshow of all the collections together. Thank you.